In today's Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you an incredible add-on that you can get online. Um, even though it is a paid add-on, they do give you a 30-day free trial, which is really amazing. That's what I've gone ahead and done. And what you see here are two different um, examples of the same model. So here is my original sculpt. And you can see this is the, um, the topology here, um, very triangulated because I was using dynamic topology. And here is the retopology that I did with just the click of the button using the quad remesher. And look how incredible that is. Now, just right out of the box, it does an incredible job. I think the only place where I would do a little bit of editing is just around the eyes. But for the most part, it's gonna retopologize the majority of it for you really well. I'm gonna show you how to use this. It's literally just the click of a button. So this is not even gonna be a really long tutorial. Um, it's just incredible, not only that, can you remesh it? You can also um, and control the um, symmetry and you can choose the amount of quads that you want to generate. So incredible tool. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to do a one click retopology in Blender. So to get access to the remesher, um, I'm gonna quickly show you where you can get it. I'm gonna put a link in the description to this page over here on Exocide. And you can see over here, they have a download trial version. You can click on that and then it's gonna pop up with an email bar here. You can enter your email and you can do two things. You can get a paid version or you can go for the trial version, which will give you 30 days access, um, which is still pretty cool if you wanna try it out and use it a little bit. So go ahead, put your email in there, then it'll send you a link to your email. You'll follow the instructions and um, you, know, you can read up on their um, frequently asked questions and find out more about it. So all of the information about how to install it, it'll all be provided. So um, I've already gone ahead and done that and it's now in Blender. It's already enabled under my add-ons. Over here to quad remesher. And now if I press N on my properties panel, I can go over to the quad remesher here. And it's a very simple little tool to use. You can see over here, it's got, for example, symmetry. So you can just remesh something as it is, but you can also remesh something symmetrical. So it's both the same side, on, um, the same on both sides. In this case, I have enabled the X because my character here is symmetrical. I want the topology to be exactly the same on the X. There's also options for the Y and Z coordinates. And then over here is really cool. You can choose how many quads you want. And I've just set mine to 7,000, but you can set it much lower or much higher. So let's quickly have a look at this mesh. This is the sculpting mesh, as you can see over here. Um, very high topology, very triangulated, because um, we were using I was using dynamic mesh when I sculpted this. But now, if I select it, I can simply go over here and click on remesh it. And that only took a few seconds, and here you can see it's been remeshed. Let's tab into edit mode and look at that. Wow, um, so there are some areas where you'd probably go and fix it up a little bit, like here in the mouth. The mouth is almost perfect, um, but mainly around the eyes is where you can do it a little bit better. But that's something you could easily come in here and fix the topo topological flow. For the most part, it's done a beautiful job right out of the box retopologizing this. So this is a fantastic one-click option for retopologizing meshes in a blender. So that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Definitely go in the description, check out this incredible add-on. And um, if you like it, you might even purchase it. And if you don't want to purchase it, just try the 30-day trial. It's still a ton of fun to play around with and use. And I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. So I'll see you next time for another blender tutorial.